Hello, once again, citizens of the internet, and welcome to Trust the Trailer, the series where I'm going to hopefully try to save you guys a few bucks by telling you whether or not you should see a movie based on the trailer, because that's what marketing likes to try to do, is to get you to see a movie based on the trailer alone, three to four minutes of clips cut together to try and make the movie seem enticing, no matter how bad it may seem. Today, we're taking a look at Pixels. Now, I don't really need to tell you why you shouldn't see this movie, because odds are, you already know it's most likely going to be bad in some way, shape, or form. But I'm here to tell you basically just what I think based on the trailers. And what I think it's going to be is a very you know, visually impressive movie. I mean, looking at it, it looks like they put a decent amount of the budget into making it look good, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. You've got, like, two different trailers, one that kind of takes more of the comedic approach to it, and then you've got another one that kind of tries to make it seem a little bit more action-y, each with just its own kind of weird blend of the scenes, all mostly the same, but just presented with either different music or different ordered clips. And I think the reason why that we all don't trust this movie to be good is because, of course, none other than Adam Sandler is at the helm. At least it's his production company, and he is starring in it. And the other big male lead in the movie is Kevin James, as well as Josh Gad and Peter Dinklage. And when I saw those two, the latter most, I was kind of excited because Peter Dinklage has a mullet and it looks like they could be really interesting and fun characters, Peter Dinklage especially, knowing what a good actor he is. That being said, there is one problem that the trailer kind of brings up. There's one scene that they've shown in just about every single trailer, and I'll play it for you here, where Kevin James and Adam Sandler are, quote, taking the fight to them. In other words, they are heading up to the mothership or whatever have you, and fighting the aliens head-on on their turf in the form of Donkey Kong. Now what this part of the trailer also shows, coincidentally, is that both Josh Gad and Peter Dinklage are apparently not making the trip up to the mothership with them. This could be for a number of reasons. They have something else to do off-screen that they need to tend to. Or maybe they died, or I think most likely, each of them ended up somehow trying to sacrifice themselves for the good of the team. And I mean, I, I get it. You can't have all four or five main characters taking on the bad guy at once. You need to have, you need to trim some of the fat. That being said, that leads me to realize that we are left with our two main characters of Adam Sandler and Kevin James for a majority of this movie, I think. Because if you assume that indeed Peter Dinklage and Josh Gad are out of it at that point of them heading up to the mothership, they're not being going to be shown nearly as much, then you have the final maybe 20 to 25 minutes of the movie containing just those two and none of the reason why I want to see this movie in the first place. And then you also have to consider that those characters, the two I mentioned, Peter Dinklage and Josh Gad, are probably not going to be in the movie as much through the first 20 to 25 minutes as well. So with the runtime, what that adds up to is a whopping almost half the movie spent with just Kevin James and Adam Sandler. And I wouldn't be so concerned about this possibility if the most recent movies from both Kevin James and Adam Sandler have a combined Rotten Tomatoes score of 20. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Just ob objectively, that is a bad sign. And yet, both of those movies, Blended and Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, have been commercially successful in the box office. So I would urge you guys to not see this movie based on the trailer, based on just my intuition, and hopefully your own intuition that this is not going to be 
a fun movie. If you want to watch something funny that has a very, very similar premise, go watch Futurama Anthology of Interest. It's on Netflix. Sign up for a free trial or do something, but you can sign up for it. Hell, you can pirate it for all I care, but watch that episode and you'll probably laugh as many times, if not more, in that 30 minutes than you will in this feature-length film. And again, it's like, it's a challenge spanning a literally two and a half minute short film into a feature length movie. But that being said, companies, Hollywood, do not let Adam Sandler be the one to attempt it. I mean, there is a movie out now that I highly recommend you see instead of Pixels that is about a superhero who has the power to shriek, shrink to the size of an ant and also telepathically control them. And that movie was done well. This movie, I can almost certainly say, will not be done well. Especially not if it's being put in the hands of this man. We need to send a message to Hollywood somehow, so there are so many other movies that are worth putting your money towards other than this maybe visually adequate, but comedically dry, pixelated disaster waiting to happen. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Based on the trailer, I would not recommend that you go see Pixels. There are way too many movies out there right now that you should be seeing instead. Please, put your money towards something else, not lining Adam Sandler's wallet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Trust the Trailer. It's a kind of a different angle than what I did last time. Hopefully you like it. If not, I understand. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to support me and my channel. I would love you guys forever, but thank you so much anyway just for watching. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.